NASA's Parker Solar Probe has made a groundbreaking discovery in the sun's atmosphere, evidence of the helicity barrier. This discovery could finally explain why the sun's corona, its outermost layer, is much hotter than its surface, solving the long-standing mystery known as the coronal heating problem. By analyzing solar wind data, scientists have gained crucial insights into how energy flows through the sun's atmosphere, shedding light on solar wind acceleration. In this video, we'll break down the helicity barrier, its role in heating the sun's corona, and why this finding is a significant advancement in solar physics. One of the biggest mysteries in solar physics has been why the sun's corona is far hotter than its surface. The core of the sun, where nuclear fusion occurs, reaches a temperature of about 15 million degrees Celsius. The photosphere, the visible surface of the sun, is much cooler, around 5,500 degrees Celsius. Yet, it is situated far beyond the photosphere and is much hotter, reaching temperatures up to 2 million degrees Celsius. This temperature discrepancy has puzzled scientists for over 80 years. Based on basic physics, the farther you move from the sun's core, the cooler the temperature should be. Yet, the corona defies this, being far hotter despite being farther from the sun's energy source. This is known as the coronal heating problem. Theories proposed to explain this phenomenon have included turbulence in the plasma and magnetic waves, but neither could fully explain why the temperature increased in it. This is where the recent discovery of the helicity barrier offers a potential solution. Data from NASA's Parker Solar Probe has provided the missing piece of the puzzle, revealing a mechanism that could explain how it reaches such high temperatures. This appears to be central to understanding the dynamics of energy flow in the sun's atmosphere and how the observed temperature anomaly arises. The helicity barrier refers to a phenomenon in the sun's plasma where turbulent energy is trapped by magnetic forces, redirecting it into ion cyclotron waves, these waves that contribute to the heating of the plasma. Essentially, this barrier functions like a dam in a river. Instead of the energy dissipating as expected, the barrier redirects it into a form that leads to the observed heating of the solar atmosphere. This process involves turbulent plasma flows, where the energy typically would dissipate and cool the sun's atmosphere. However, this theory alters how these fluctuations behave, directing the turbulent energy into ion cyclotron waves. These waves contribute to the high temperatures in it, resolving the discrepancy observed between the photosphere and the corona's temperatures. The beauty of this discovery is that it ties together two previously disconnected ideas. One theory suggested turbulence in the sun's atmosphere was responsible for the heating, while another pointed to magnetic waves as the key. The theory provides a mechanism that explains how turbulence can lead to these wave formation, bridging the gap between these two concepts and offering a unified explanation for coronal heating. By confirming this theory, Scientists now have a clear mechanism that explains not just the heating of the corona, but also the acceleration of solar wind. It is composed of charged particles from the sun, is crucial in understanding space weather and its impact on Earth. Solar wind acceleration has long been a mystery, but the helicity barrier's role in transferring energy provides a more complete explanation of this process. The Parker Solar Probe, launched in 2018, is uniquely positioned to gather data from the sun's corona, providing the crucial information needed to test the helicity barrier theory. This spacecraft is the first to get closer to the sun than any previous mission, flying seven times closer to the sun's surface than earlier probes by measuring the solar wind, magnetic fields, and plasma fluctuations it has provided direct data that confirms the presence of this theory. Through its close approach, the probe was able to observe fluctuations in the sun's magnetic fields and the behavior of solar wind particles. These measurements confirm the predictions made by this theory, showing that from this field, fluctuations behave exactly as expected when the barrier is active. 
This is significant because it provides solid evidence for a theory that had previously been speculative. It also helps explain why protons in the solar wind are typically hotter than electrons, a long-standing puzzle in solar physics. By linking this phenomenon to the helicity barrier, scientists now have a clearer understanding of how energy is transferred in the sun's atmosphere. This insight into this wind behavior is essential for space weather predictions. Its interaction with Earth's magnetosphere can affect satellite communications, GPS systems, and even electrical grids. With a better understanding of its acceleration, scientists can make more accurate predictions about space weather and its potential impacts on Earth. This theory has broader implications for astrophysics, extending beyond our Sun to other stars with similar plasma conditions. Studying the Sun's magnetic fields and energy transfer helps researchers understand these processes in distant cosmic systems. NASA's Parker Solar Probe's discovery of the helicity barrier solves the coronal heating problem, linking turbulence and magnetic waves to heat the sun's corona. This breakthrough also improves our understanding of solar wind acceleration, aiding space weather predictions to protect Earth's infrastructure. As the probe continues sending data, we'll gain more insights into the sun and cosmic systems. For more updates, like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more discoveries.